Utah is a, by far and away a leader in the Department of Transportation. They are seen as innovators, not just from a technology perspective, but from a partnership perspective. So they were identified immediately by us as, as a potential partner. We have been deploying connected vehicle technology for about five years, and we have built some applications, we've deployed them on some of our roadways, we've had some success. We felt like it was time where we needed to scale that up. Panasonic brings to the table several key things on this project. They have developed great expertise of connected vehicle deployment. They bring the expertise of being able to build a data analytics platform that operates in the cloud to analyze that data and tell us what's happening and how we can make a difference. We're going to work closely with Utah to actually build a model and a template for how you deploy connected vehicle technology across the state. So we'll start with a small number of vehicles and a small number of roadways and we'll equip those roadways to be prepared uh, for collecting that data and we'll equip those vehicles to begin generating that data so that we can build the data platform or Cirrus by Panasonic that Utah and Panasonic are going to collaborate on and build together. When we work with technology providers, we're working together to get that win-win. We have very specific goals. We have a goal of zero fatalities. So we say zero fatalities, zero crashes, zero injuries on our highway system. So when I look at the future of transportation, when I look at doing things like connecting vehicles together, connecting it with our infrastructure, I see this as that incredible inflection point in transportation that's gonna to start to drive us towards zero fatalities. I really view this tech as the digital seatbelt of our generation. Now we have a communication technology that can protect people and prevent a lot of these deaths that are occurring across the nation.